Hello there, and thank you for coming by the Ramsey channel, and we have entered uh, the month of October in the year 2022, and I thought it might be nice to uh, kind of go back in time and look at uh, some of my Stephen King collection. I took all those videos down when I took basically every video on the channel down, and I know some people would like to I've had <laughs> requests from uh, people would like to see some of the Stephen King collection again. I'm not going to focus on it heavily anymore because I'm sick of it, if you want to know the truth. But, you know, it's Halloween, or becoming Halloween, and what, uh, what better author uh, to kind of celebrate Halloween with than Stephen King? And I'm just, uh, during the month of Halloween, just as I... As the notion strikes me, I'll highlight some of the Stephen King collections in a few videos. If you want to see the entire collection, you can see it on my fairy tale review because I deliberately went over the entire Stephen King bookshelf and you can see everything all at once there and that's all I'm going to do with it. Um, this is, I thought I'd pull this one out first because this is the first book. This is Carrie, Stephen King's first novel, and I'm getting quite a glare on it because it's in a protective cover. But this is the first edition of Stephen King's Carrie. And there's nothing special or interesting looking about it other than the fact that this is the true first edition with all the first edition points. And there you see, first edition. So that's first edition of Carrie. And, uh, you know, that's quite a, that's quite a prize to have that. It's bound in the purple cloth or maroon cloth, whatever color it is. And, uh, has the issue price of $5.95 on it. So there is the first edition of Carrie. This is the first limited signed edition that Stephen King did. This was from Fantasia Press. And it's the limited edition of Firestarter. It comes in this navy blue slipcase with this, again, I'm getting quite a glare, um, with this very attractive wraparound dust jacket. Came bound in blue buckram with the author's initials on it. Had the blue end papers. And there, Stephen King signed, numbered, and dated it. This one is dated July the 7th, 1980. This is this first edition of Firestarter by Stephen King's limited to 725 copies, all of which have been signed and numbered by the author. This is copy 375, Stephen King, July 7th, 1980. And, you know, I have a much better camera now than the camera that I used to have on the old videos. And everybody continuously fussed and complained and made fun of me for the terrible camera. And now that I have a better camera, they're still going to fuss and complain because I'm getting a glare on these, which I did not anticipate. And you know what? I just don't give a fuck because I am so sick of listening to everybody fuss and moan about something all the time. And I'm going to fuss and moan all I want. Here is the limited edition of Stephen King's The Stand. It comes in this large ebony box with the brass plate on it and the lid lifts off. The book is inside of it in like a uh, glassine tissue and it has a ribbon pull somewhere which I'm unable to use right now for some reason so I'm just going to take the bastard out of here. Here's the ribbon pull <laughs> which proved to be quite useless in that instance. Here's the interior of the box. It's in a red silk and I will take the glassine tissue off of the book and show you the very attractive 
beautifully bound book. Here is the limited edition of Stephen King's The Stand. So when people ask me, are you going to get a particular anniversary edition or whatever, I say no, because I have the real thing. I also have the first edition of the um, previous edition of this from Doubleday, which was the, the cut or edited version that ran around 812 pages, something like that. I might show that, but this was the first uncut edition. This was I can't remember when this was published. So there's what it looks like. It's a pretty thing, isn't it? You know, even after all this time, this still smells strongly of leather. Really gorgeous. But, uh, you know, I have generally stopped buying any sort of Stephen King collectible books because it became such a market and uh, books that were supposed to be instant collectibles that it lost it lost its appeal for me you know when when a book is printed just to be an instant product um, I think Cemetery Dance really kind of did that with Stephen King I don't know why he puts up with it um, but anyway this is the this is the limited first edition you see the very attractive red end papers on silk there's our frontispiece, piece red and black two color printing pretty thing isn't it I think the author's signature is in the back on this book. I don't I don't know. I can't say that I exactly remember. No, I must have skipped over it in the front. Let's see if we can't find the limited edition page in this thing. Oh, there it is. Alright. The deluxe first edition of the stand. The complete and uncut edition, which has been signed by the author and illustrator, is limited to 1,250 numbered and 52 lettered copies. This is copy 83. And there are the signatures. And uh, this is a different typeset and text block. Doubleday actually reset all of this for this edition, and this is the only edition where you will find the text laid out in that format. It's a larger print. It has a sun-in ribbon bookmarker and it's bound very well and it's, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful book. It has all of the Bernie Wrights and illustrations in it, just like the edition that you would still buy there. We saw an example of one. So that is what the true <laughs> limited first edition of the uncut edition of the stand looks like and uh, you know different di different companies will will make you know new anniversary editions of it and stuff but that's the real thing there and then finally here's a limited edition of the eyes of the dragon this was published by stephen king's own press the filtrum press you see it there and uh, I'll have to set this down to get the book out of here. And I'm sure somebody will criticize my camera work. That's fine. As I said earlier, I don't give a fuck. Here is the um, slipcase. And here's the book. Uh, I thought a lot about this book. During uh, oh, I need to dust it off. I thought a lot about this book um, when I was reading a fairy tale because it reminds me uh, a fairy tale in some ways, and the book essentially is a fairy tale. I always liked 
this edition because it's printed on uh, paper with a heavy cotton content and it feels more like cloth than actual paper. And, um, you know, napkins play such a central role in this story. You see, you see how the paper even, you know, has that cloth kind of uh, lay to it. It's, 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 it's really gorgeous. In my opinion, this is one of the most beautiful Stephen King limited editions that have been published. I'm having a real hard time turning pages and uh, doing this. You see the book has illustrations and it does have some full page ones. I won't be able to turn to any right now naturally. Whenever Stephen King put out anything from Filtrum, they were always really pretty. He didn't do too many books through Filtrum. And I believe this has the limitation at the end of it, and yes it does. There's the limitation and the signature. So, throughout this Halloween month, I will uh, get out other pretty books from my Stephen King collection and show those. There's a lot of them, and I probably won't get to all of them. Like I said, don't, don't expect a book tour or anything. I've done as much of a book tour as I'm going to do on that uh, uh, fairy tale review that I did uh earlier on this channel and uh, book book tour videos are difficult to do uh, I had a really hard time making this just sitting here you know trying to handhold the camera but these books are large and they're difficult to to turn and stuff and uh, I just have a small tripod I'm not going to invest any money in anything anymore but at least the the picture quality is a little more clear than some of the old ones uh, but anyway there you go. Some of the uh, books from my Stephen King collection. And, you know, strictly throughout October, I'll, uh, I'll make a few more of these. I'll pull some of the favorite ones that I have off the shelf and do little videos like this. So, for those of you who wanted to see the Stephen King books again, there you go. And if you want if you if you want these books for your future reference, then you download them because there's no guarantee that I won't get all pissy and have a fit again and take these down and then people will be saying, why'd you take them down? I don't know why I do YouTube because it aggravates the living fuck out of me sometimes. Um, anyway, I'll shut up and quit crouching because, uh, you know, you all need to call me Reemsy the Grouch because that's what I am. The older I get, the nastier and meaner I get. Isn't that awful? All right, guys, thank you for watching this video and uh, wishing you a happy Halloween season. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.